Claire, this is Dr. Mintz. This is a patient who presented with right lower quadrant pain and fever. I'll scroll through the axial images here so you can have an overview of the case. And then we'll switch to coronal images again for an overview of the case. Okay. First of all, the liver, the spleen, and the pancreas appear normal. The gallbladder, the adrenal glands, and right kidney appear normal. A cyst of the left kidney is incidentally noted. The abdominal aorta is normal in caliber. There are pronounced inflammatory changes in the right lower quadrant, which involve the lower right colon and cecum. Coronal images demonstrate the extent of the inflammatory changes, optimally involving not only the cecum, but portions of the right colon going about halfway up the right colon. So right lower quadrant inflammatory process could be appendicitis, Crohn's disease, ulcerative colitis, or infectious colitis. Here we see this tubular structure in the right lower quadrant, which is emanating from the cecal tip, and that is the appendix. So that's a normal appearing appendix. This is the ileocecal valve. It looks quite edematous, along with the mucosa of the surrounding cecum and lower right colon. But if we look very closely, we can see that the terminal ileum is coming into that ileocecal valve region and that visualized terminal ileum appears normal. So that makes Crohn's disease less likely, not impossible. So we've partly ruled out Crohn's disease. Appendicitis uh, does not appear to be present here. So we have this pronounced inflammatory changes in the right colon and I would say an infectious enteritis is a foremost consideration in this case. Ulcerative colitis also is a possibility.